there's a small percentage of students, one or two percent, that are unruly. Mm -hmm. There's a small percentage of almost every group of people that's unruly. And that's what you hear about. And it would be nice to hear the good stories of the people that graduate, become teachers and principals and business people, mm -hmm. and do good community thing services. But we don't hear that. All we hear about is the negative part. I feel like they're just used to students by this point. So like, I feel like the townspeople are more so not afraid of us. They just like kind of hate us for like the ruckus we cause. But like students-wise. I feel like we just realize we're all in the same boat, you know, like we're not from around here. We don't see the large gatherings, we don't see the large parties, we don't see the large um, incidents with a lot, of, a lot of people fighting. We see smaller gatherings that are more manageable. We, in addition to the education awareness part of the initiative, we increase enforcement. So we did unfortunately have an inordinate amount of deaths that are directly attributed to acute alcohol poisoning as well. I, I worked at, at Bloom University for over 20 years. So I've had very good relationships with students and those that came in the office I've not had any problem with. I've had wonderful student workers. I couldn't have worked, couldn't have run the office without them. Mm -hmm. um, the flip side of that is is the, the partying and the noise and the litter and the language that goes on pretty much all week. Uh, it's hard getting around with the locals, I feel at least. Uh, uh, it's kind of, it, we're looked down upon, I feel, that um, like the, a lot of people don't want us around because we represent something that they don't want inside of their community. And we're doing a lot to change uh, their thinking. Groups and trying to develop relationships between the town, the residents, uh, the, the student residents, uh, the, and the university, and the business owners. That's, you know, when you get all these people working together, doing, trying to accomplish a goal, you know, then the things are going to work out properly. But unfortunately, the business centers don't want to budge. The residents don't want to budge. And they don't realize it's not a, it's not a, a university issue or a, or a student issue or a business issue. It, it's a community issue. And we all have, we all have to give a little bit. Um, I think with Bloomsburg, it's such a rural area that you really can't escape it. That sounds really bad, but Westchester's a lot closer to Philadelphia. It's closer to other things. So I think that in, in that aspect, it's the kids can kind of get away if they need to, and the town maybe doesn't notice it as much. I mean, it's just, I think it's the same no matter where you go with college towns. I mean, the school's there, and that's what draws the people there, too.